Today on Decker Does It DIY, we're going to install some upgrades for my DeWalt DW735 planer. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I got some upgrades for DeWalt planer. I found a uh, brand new stainless bottom plate I want to install into it and I also purchased this on eBay I put the link in the description but it's a 3d printed exhaust for the chips to come out to the top instead of the back the reason why I want the chips to come out on the top of the planer is for my Rockler dust right system all I do is attach one of their adapters to this three inch opening this is a 3D printed piece that I got on eBay. Looks pretty cool. And it will allow this to connect to the top of it. And it also keeps my hose as it originally wants you to put it right there. Well, if you look at the back, your hose is hanging down and as your boards are coming through, it'll hit your hose. So you almost need it to come out from the side like that or I'm just gonna have it come out of the top. That way it's completely out of the way and a whole lot easier to mess with. With this setup, it came with instructions on how to install it, gasket hardware. If you wanted to install this on here with the, with the top off of it, this little block right here will go into the safety switch. My plan is to, I'm gonna cut a hole in the top and where I could reattach the housing back on the top is the way I plan to do it. And it also comes with a screen for the back of the original dust collector, or not dust collector, but the original uh, exhaust port that's on the back. The motor that's inside the planer that allows the chips to come out the back. You don't want to remove this motor or the blade, the the fan blade that's inside of it because that actually works as a cooling mechanism for the motor itself keeps the air flowing so if you take that that blade mechanism out of that that uh, blower motor it's in here you're taking a chance of your motor actually overheating and then you'll burn it up and we don't want that it uses the same the same bolts that holds the guard on right now. So it should be a pretty simple install. The first thing I wanna do is install my new stainless plate. To reattach this stainless plate, I'm gonna use 3M Super 77. It's super tacky stuff. Once you spray it on there, you probably ain't gonna get it back off. But first, I need to sand the old glue residue off of the top of this. And I'm just going to use some 120 grit sandpaper and a sanding block. Just kind of scuff it up a little. Majority of the glue's off, and uh, I want to give a special set shout out to my son. He's one behind the camera today. He's recording all this footage. Just want to tell him happy birthday. Uh, he's turning 11 this coming Friday, April 5th. So happy birthday, Brax. He wants to come out here in uh, video, so he's helping me out with all these shots. Uh, Pretty much I got it sanded out. What I'm gonna do now, I need to clean the surface, get it prepped up for glue. And I'm gonna use a brake cleaner 
and just a rag. Spray it down, wipe it off. Now I'm just cleaning the surface of this plate. It's got uh, some like packing residue on it now. So I'm just trying to clean all that off. It's gonna get smeary and once I get it attached to the planer, then I'll go back and hit it with some wax and try to get this thing nice and slick. Okay, you can see how much came off of that. Now I'm getting ready to attach the plate onto the bottom of the planer. So I want to clean it off real good too. I don't want to touch it. When I apply my glue, I think I'm going to spray it, spray it on this plate. I don't want to get that glue all over my planer. It's pretty messy stuff. Take the 3M Super 77, give it a good shake. You want it to get tacky before you put it in place. So I'm gonna let it sit here for about a minute or so. And then we'll attach this to that. Try to grab this thing. It's tricky. Try to slip it in here. pressure down on it. Start from one side and work your way over to the other. I'm just using my hand, pushing down on it. Make sure all the edges are down. Did you hear it pop down? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now it's kind of like a mirror. Brand new, man. You can see how dirty it is underneath. Yeah. Look at all the spider eggs. Right there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to take the top off of this. Four bolts are here on top. Use your DeWalt uh, Torx 30 bit. We got these thumb screws. Take these off. And you lift this up, pull it to the right, and come right off. And this will go. just like that okay there's a multitude of ways to 
put this hole onto this cover. There's a few guidelines you can go off here. But what I've noticed is the ribs are kind of raised on here a little bit. So what I'm gonna try to do, I got a paint marker here. So I'm gonna paint the top rim of this and then place this cover down onto it to where that paint will get on this cover. And hopefully that will tell me exactly where to cut this thing. Quite a bit of paint that will transfer onto it. Okay. Let's see if this it did make some marks. like that. Just kind of tracing. down on here see how close we are hopefully we're close because I really don't want to mess my cover up okay now I'm going to now that I got my hole cleaned up all the the plastic little scrap pieces let's see if Let's go. <laughs> that fit pretty good, didn't it, Brax? Yeah. Now I'll just put my this on top of it. And I can take this off. This piece oh lines up here. Such a stupid design to walk. This piece is supposed to line up here. And then it has a spring loaded thing right here. So best way to do it is to start your piece here. Push it in. Here, Brax, push your in. Push your pin in. No, the, the piece that I'm putting on there. Okay. There's the vent. The only thing left I have to do, I'm going to put my sealer on here. I noticed in this bag it came with two screws. This one thumb screw that's on the back center part of here, you can't get it to line up because 
the screw was so tall and the hits on the wall of the uh, the dust chute. I'll show you. Pop this off. As you can see back here, you go to install this bolt. You notice how you can't get it started because it ain't straight. Well, you use this bolt to take its place. But I'm going to put this gasket on the bottom of this now that I know this dust chute will work. And then we're going to wax the new stainless plate I have on the bottom. And then we're going to try to run a board. So let's put this one on. It's a big hoy right there. Oh my gosh. If you like this content, if it's helpful to you, hit that thumbs up, man. Subscribe. The ones that have subscribed, thank you. I say this every video, but you know. All these videos are free to watch. And it's not easy making this content. All this stuff that I have on all these upgrade parts and motorcycle stuff and woodworking stuff, it's all not sponsored. It's all my money. So, please help me out. Help me out. Thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll make more content like this soon. I'm just going to use my knife. Trim it to the edge. Trim it to the edge. Now we got a nice gasket on it. We ain't got to worry about any chips flying out on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna put these bolts back in the back. I'm excited to run this, aren't you too, Braxton? Yeah. We haven't ran a board through this planer yet. I've had this thing for like two and a half years. And we're now upgrading it. Finally. Get back to some woodworking. Try to make something. Okay. Alright, come on in here. As you can see, the motor, the the blower that's inside this motor, I never touched anything on it. It's still here. It's still able to suck in air to cool this motor because you don't want this thing to overheat. The chips are gonna get blown straight off of the blade, straight out of here through my dust right dust collector. So now we have new rollers, new blades, new dust collection, and a new stainless plate. So basically, we got a new planer. And we didn't pay $650 for it. All these upgrades and everything, I basically got this, I've got right at about $300, $325 in this planer. So, not a bad deal. Let's wax this bottom plate and uh, we'll run a board through it. It's basically furniture wax is what this stuff is. Looks 
I think that stuff looks weird. Men wax, furniture wax. Works pretty good. Just gonna rub this on here. Let it dry. I do all of my saws this way, cast iron, table saw. I do everything this way. Okay, uh, we're gonna test this thing out. I'm gonna test it out with a uh, good old hickory board. It's nice and hard. I'm gonna attach the dust right to the top. Dust right on. Fairly pretty good finish. You wanna feel? Oh yeah. All right guys, pretty well satisfied with the planer and all the upgrades we got done with it. What time is it now, Brax? <laughs> time for a drink. What did you think about it, old Brax? like that. There's only one thing left to do. What's that? Drink time. Drink time. What time is it, Brax? Drink time. It's drink time. We got that job done, so cheers. Cheers. See y'all next video.